How can we draw arrows in Pixelmator Pro on your Mac? Here I am in the blank document. I'm going to select a shape tool here on the right side in my tool panel. Now we're going to explore different shapes. There are several categories, but stick with basics because that's where we can find some pre made arrows. It's this simple arrow that we can easily draw and it will make this arrow longer and longer it's a vector shape so that's the basic arrow that most of you will need as you can see there's this green point here that allow us to make the line thicker or the arrow head larger what if i start stretching this arrow it's still working as intended so that's nice you can use the arrange panel so select the move tool and then you can add rotation if you feel like you didn't draw it exactly as you need you can rotate the arrow a bit using the rotation wheel here all right how about other style of arrow what else can we select from the shape menu there's also double arrow that work in similar manner There is an arrow with the point. And finally, there is a simple line that can be used to actually also make an arrow. So we can use the line and we can make an arrow head separately using a triangle. So what if you need more complex arrow? Let's explore that as well. I will delete those arrows. And now I'm going to grab a pen tool instead. With pen tool, we will be able to draw a custom line. So I can make a very organic wavy line like this. If you want to stop drawing the line, hit escape on your keyboard and here it is. We can make the line thicker now. But there's no arrow head. We can add arrow head by adding simply another shape. As you may guess, a triangle will be the best choice here. So move it into position, give it a proper rotation, and here it is. We managed to create arrow with a pen tool and triangle. So that's how you can add arrows to your project in Pixelmator Pro. There are some pre made arrows in the shape panel, but you can always use a triangle and a line hand draw using pen tool. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next video.